Hello, hello, explorers. Welcome to the Hotspot Show. My name is Yusta Segete. And as usual, every Saturday, we take you to different places to explore. And today's hotspot is no different. This is Eugenia Gardens along Kenyatta Road, just a few miles before you get to Juja. And this place is a hidden gem, guys. A hint, there's a theater in here, there's so much playground for you and your loved ones, there's so much to explore. You can tell already from where I'm standing, things turn out so beautiful. And you know what else is beautiful? How they usher you in when you come to Eugenia Gardens. So Team Explorers, are you ready for the energy that this garden is about to bring down this Saturday? Stick around for more. So to Wendy, hello. Jambo. Hey. Hakuna matata hey. Jambo Jambo tena Unari gani Mzuri sana Hey Ujini ya yetu Hakuna matata There is no better way to start the show than this And you know what? We are so ready for this Let's head on to the other side Tuende ni Jambo Wow. Team Explorers, we already established that this is a beautiful place. Most definitely, you know how our shows go, we never, we always have to have a discussion on exactly what that spot has to offer. And today, as bright as it looks, as colorful as it, is, as it looks, we are joined by one and only Faith. Ngumibwagze, kwa sababu ni wakati wa Gen Z, ama we have to flow with what <laughs> they definitely. do. And yeah. of course, they are one of our fanatics on this particular show. Utawambi uh aje, -huh. uwasalime, uwambi, welcome to the Hotspot Show. Cool. So hi, my name is Faith, General Manager of Virginia Park. Karibuni sana. Yeah. And that's what's up. So, um, Eugenia Park, before we started the show, you told us the name comes from somewhere. Yes. Pretty interesting. And I think this is the part where we also need to hear it from you once again. Sure. Where did the name come from? So the name Eugenia is a tree. Yeah. So if you look around the garden, so there is a Kunamti Kokila Mahali, and that's the Eugenia tree. Mm -hmm. So the idea was to associate the place with something that is consistent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm sure I'm not the only one who thought maybe Eugenia is a name of uh, the founder of this place or something of the sorts. Yeah, everybody thinks that actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh. But uh, what's the beauty of this particular tree? Um, is it that, uh, apart from how colorful it looks, any unique characteristics that yes, would be important is. for us to yes, know? Yes, it is. Ideally, the Eugenia tree is a seasonal tree actually. Okay. So like right now, it's red. So it sheds with season. Mm -hmm. So in another season, it should be yellow and at times now it remains just green. So that's the beauty. The point was to just make it colorful and also other than the Kawaida fence we give people, mm -hmm. since it's an it's an open air garden, we just have the fence, have the natural breezes and all that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Just about the trees once again, we are along Kenyatta Road. This yes. is just before Juja. Yes. Is this the tree that is commonly found here or this was uh, you know, the Eugenia Gardens that decided to plant this particular tree. It's actually the Eugenia Garden, mm -hmm. actually that planted to plant to plant uh, plant the tree. Uh -huh, yes. Amazing. And yeah. we like the breeze so far, feels <laughs> so cool. It is. So amazing. Yes. How big is this space? So the space actually, it's two acres of land. Okay. And then another three quarter acre for the parking. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. And from where we are standing, we can clearly spot quite a number of things going on here. To my left, I can see a play zone for children. Yes my right yeah. guys there's archery and behind us there are sitting areas yeah. maybe just give us you know an overview of uh, the landscaping of Eugenia Gardens. Eugenia as it's planted mm -hmm. the whole idea is to be an outdoor center because it actually the idea came around it time yeah COVID in the sense that what mm -hmm. you are so why not give people an outdoor experience but yeah so ideally not for Eugenia what we do here so unapata to corner all kinds of activities. Yeah. So like where we are standing here, what unafanya Rusi, they do weddings. So you can find a wedding that can actually take up to 700 people. Yeah. 
And then also if you have other small parties, you can also have them here. <laughs> yeah. Come on and give me information because <laughs> even behind you, I can see you know some some tents pitched. Yes. I can see some areas designated for sitting. Yep. Uh, what's all? What's going on? We have a restaurant actually. Okay. So and uh, the idea is to have everyone seated outside. Mm -hmm. So we have tents. So we call them the hills. Yeah, named actually six of them. Okay. So ideally, if we come for the restaurant, Also, we have the gazebos, or we call them the fire pits. Yeah, so if you have your chama meetings or any small groups and then you want to reserve in advance, your PMC costs a space, you reserve them up on dining. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. um, the corners, I mean the sitting areas, how many people can sit in it? Uh, the sitting area, like, like the huts. Mm. Yeah. The huts. So ideally, this one, uh, Fire Pit 1, take, it has a capacity of 15 people. Mm -hmm. And Lafu Ing in uh, the Fire Pit 2, it's bigger, capacity of 20. Ah, so they vary. Yes, Amazing. They vary. Ah, yeah. beautiful. Mm -hmm. Another unique thing that you have here, it's a theater. Yes. Tell us about it. All right. So the theater was newly, it's newly launched actually. Okay. It was launched in uh, February this mm -hmm. year. So the idea of the theater is to hold uh, any theatrical thing. So when it comes to plays, of which we've had, like uh, we've had a, a play called The Island. Yes. And also we've also hosted jazz concerts. We've hosted classical musicals and a kids show as well. So it is diverse and also it can be used for conferences. Okay. So when you find corporates looking for space, more like team buildings, so they can have their conference inside the theater and then proceed onto the grounds for the activities and the meals. Yeah. How many people can a particular place accommodate? Okay. I'm pretty sure they would want to know how yes. many people can sit in that theater. Okay, tell so, us. All right, so the theater is that now it can fit up to 300 people. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. I got a chance to look at it. Mm. There's a water feature. Yes. What's that for? So the, the water feature is actually interesting. You find that there are creatives who want to go a bit wild. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you find that they are, especially water dancers, okay. actually do very well in the theater. And also more like when you're having a play and more like you want to have something like a cloud effect, mm -hmm. like this spooky. I see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So you can use the water in the stage. Mm -hmm. I see. You mm -hmm. know what? Mm -hmm. If you ask me, mm -hmm. um, you know, to just say anything about the theater, I, I really find it a cool feature because, I mean, how many hotspots Mm. do you go to and yeah. you find that there's actually a cinema mm. you know um is this the part where we are happy to decongest cbd and we say you know what even in that hot spot that is a bit further from town yeah. you still can enjoy the theater yes uh-huh mm. well how does someone go around uh, either booking the theater or any particular space they wish to um have a good time here all right now for the theater so ideally there is a committee that sits on it okay so if you have a production so when you actually uh we can we'll share the email where you can to, they can send so basically uh, it's basically prices are customized con uh, but depending on the project you mm -hmm. have still on the overview of this mm -hmm. place you mm -hmm. mentioned uh, you have different sitting areas what do the adults get to engage um, in in terms of activities besides archery that we had earlier mentioned mm -hmm. yeah they also have badminton okay and also you find that especially on Sundays people when they just come to relax you find their matches for footballs so you find your total complete strangers mm -hmm. too, and then you want to enjoy you also enjoy football mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. something interesting mm -hmm. when we're checking you up on socials i mean mm -hmm. you clearly said that mm -hmm. you are a free rather non-alcoholic yes space yes is it and what's the reason so ideally uh at times we find it is a niche that we find pride in mm -hmm. so you find that one we have a theater and then it's also giving people a clean space and, and also it's a family friendly area so we want we market ourselves mostly as family friendly whereby you can come with your kids enjoy your time and 
happy. Uh, I see. Mm. And a beautiful uh, package there. Thank you so much. This part one so far has been good. Mm. And I feel like it's already telling you how much you're going to experience when you come here. This is the Hotspot Show on KTN Home. Thank you so much for tuning to this show. Up to this point, we are taking a short commercial break. And when we are back, we on the other side. Tukifanya nini? Tukijaribu. Not kupunguza weight, but <laughs> kukip fit. Stick around. See you shortly. Welcome back from the break. Glad you're still watching. This is the Hotspot Show. And as you can see, we move places. Behind me are people playing badminton. I don't know about you, but about me, this is a game that I used to admire way back, years back in high school. And growing up, to see people playing these games and visiting a hotspot that actually people can play this, this is fun. But, after before to endele, sana, let me try my wits and see if I still can remember just a few then we will have faith back on this show to just tell us more about you know the games that people get to engage while you're here uh-huh so can I borrow your racket thank you I need to try I understand this is a game that is played by two people is this how I hit <laughs> that is a means oh my god <laughs> oops maybe you can start Clearly, it seems like this game is not for me. For now, I'll leave it to you. When you visit here, make sure you try badminton. For now, let's have faith. Join us on set. As I return this racket uh, to just continue telling us more about, um, you know, this story. Tuko field. Apa ni kukimbia. On a scale of one to two, how often do you play these games? I'm ready. Asha kidogo nifanye push-ups. Aina shi na feel free. Uko feel free. Tuseme tu these dresses ina tuzuia. Aina shi na zuia otherwise. Tungecheza. Tungecheza vizuri sana. Badminton. Do you charge for these games when people visit? Yes, we do. Yeah, so for badminton, so hango tiki charge 500. That's for a pair. For 15 minutes. Ah, for 15 minutes. That's the most someone can play. No, if you can take a look, you can take a look. Yeah, but ideally, so Babu, your stretches and all, 15 minutes at least is the maximum. Mm -hmm. You can play, have a break, and then uh -huh. when the let turn up. Okay. Yeah. Allow me to shine. I have a few facts oh. about the game. Nice. Number one, uh -huh. this is a game that, uh, you know, originated from China uh -huh. about 2,000 two years ago. Oh. Of course, it's more intense than uh, tennis. Uh -huh. And third, you uh -huh. only can play two people. That's a win. <laughs> now you know. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Amazing. So with all the other games, mm -hmm. you know, um, how much do you charge uh, per activity? Uh, so for activities, mm -hmm. so like I mentioned, this one is 500. Yes. The most in Nanga is 500. Okay. But again, also if you want a package, mm -hmm. for especially now for the kids, if they want to indulge in this, mm -hmm. it comes with a package of 1,000 shillings. Uh -huh. Yes. I see. Yeah. You have a very expansive grounds. Mm -hmm. Am I also allowed to come around with my games? Uh, yes, you can. Okay. However, there's a fee there's a charged. Fee. Uh -huh. yes. It's important for us to know. Depending on the game or the fee is, uh, how do I put it, is um, specific? No, it depends with the games you're coming in. Because I did, we, if as long as we're having games inside here, okay. so basically you more or less pay the same fee because you're again utilizing the, you're mm -hmm. utilizing the space. Uh -huh. yeah. Amazing. So guys, uh, we still have quite a number of activities to explore. So Sai, you want to see which side? Mm -hmm. To Jaribu Achari, let's go shoot our shot. Yeah, 20, 20, 20, 20. <laughs> but I didn't see you try this. Yeah? Can you give it a shot oh, just sure before I we can. go there? Let's Power. see your prowess because <laughs> I missed, not terribly, but uh, it was a failure. <laughs> Woo! Okay, it's a missing game. You're making it look easy, guys. Okay, let me join you on the other <laughs> side. This is girl's power. Let's see, let's see. Pole pole, pole pole, we'll get. To sit here, pack up to just squat. Come to just squat, Amoja. So, whoa, ah, it's her fault, guys. One more try as we go to the other side. Okay. Ah, I'm not so sure whether I can forgive myself on this, but one shot to keep under the other side. Whoa. 
You okay. missed it. I missed it. I'm the <laughs> so guys, to end at the other side. <laughs> the same round. You are the first one. Let's oh go. Goodness. Let's go join the gentleman. I can see. Ooh. Tower. All right. It's it's our turn. Let's see. Shoot your shot first, and then I take it from you. I kill him to a shoot shot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yamusho, yamusho, and then the girls. Oh wow. Okay. okay. We are aiming Higher. there. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> Explorers, by now you know we take you to the most amazing places across the country as we try to shoot our shot and it's another <laughs> fail. Ah, let me ask, on a scale of 1 to 10, uh, how, uh, gender, speaking of gender, because the men here are uh, good at shooting their shots. Uh -huh. How many women or girls, <laughs> the buddies, often play this archery? Because no, why are we missing like this girl? <laughs> no, ideally, this is a ladies' game. That's the I think it is a Mama ladies' Leo. game. So uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, okay, Amanda. Okay, I threw over the board no, I and I think I need, but no, don't worry, this place is cool enough so even if the sun is hot, you still, you know, will get to enjoy some breeze. Now, Faith? Yes. Hii ni kama haija tushinda, lakini maybe ni jua kali. So we leave it to the explorers who are coming here. Definitely. For now, yeah. we want to go check out the outside gym mm. because that is where she said after eating the amazing food in here, you can go and stretch the muscles. Yes. So, number 20, 20. after you. Yes. Let's go. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channels even as we go to the other place. So Team Explorers, when you come here, definitely you get to explore and enjoy this place wholesomely. We are here at the gym area. Yes. This is uh, our way through. Oh, there's actually... Yeah, yeah, there's a car path. Above. There's a car path. Yes. Uh -huh. So, what happened to Mamboyote? Okay, I can yes. already guess this is used for two people, by two people. Yes. Three people. I'm particularly interested in this one. So How does one. it go? <laughs> All right. Panda ni kwanyesha. Ni panda wapi? Apa. Kanyaga hi? Okay. Eh, eh. Hii so, around. so just move your body. I just move my body. Yeah. Oh, just like so. <laughs> ah, you guys, you remember we've done a makeshift of this game before. <laughs> when we are younger, you just basically find anything yeah. to step on and, exactly. and twirl around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Ah, yeah, okay. Yeah. I see. Mm. This looks fun. I mean, it is. <laughs> Do you also charge for this corner? No, no, no. This is free. Ah, this is free. This is free. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, can mm. we try another one? Clearly, this is a gym, guys. <laughs> So this is more like the step machine version. Mm, I know, yeah. the one you get to do. Exactly. Uh -huh. Wow. And then in the ingina, it's more or less the same but different. Okay. So here now. Then the just go like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and I, I presume this is something that can be done with people of all ages. Yes, yes, both adults and children. They uh -huh. all they really enjoy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I see. Mm. And and maybe if I mm. just want to come here for mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. um, a more of uh, mm -hmm. gymming and what have you, I just want to use this space for. Uh, mm -hmm. If you can come this side. Okay. I just want to use to use this space for exercise. You know, every other morning. Mm -hmm. Is it something we can have a discussion around? Yes. Yes. We can. Uh -huh. Yes. Amazing. Mm -hmm. I like it. So to really explore, enjoy I'm really enjoying it as i twirl this is me just trying to organize things in my body just so that i can have space definitely for uh, you know uh. a test of your meal mm. um and we are going to the kitchen yes we are to which direction is it from here palacini near the bridge it's smelling oh. good already is this the kitchen corner yes it is uh -huh. so ideally i'll hand it over mm -hmm. to chef collins and then he'll show you a bit more of what he's preparing. For sure. But yes. before you hand me over, where mm -hmm. do we find you on socials? On Instagram, we are Regenia Arts Center. Alafu on Facebook, we are Regenia Arts and Recreation Center. Also, our mobile number is uh, 7 
Thank you. Thank this you is where everything goes down. It is. It's uh -huh. where the magic happens. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> uh -huh. Faith, I'm going to let you go. Na menembi una anda anda vile wao una anda liyao geni wako. Yeah. Aha. Yeah. Kwa majina ni Collins. Majina ni Vincent Collins. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, Chef Collins. Chef Collins. Yeah. Leo una pika nini? Tunaona uh -huh. ulikuwa na kata kasa vitungu. As as pa wa 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 choice. Mm -hmm. We came and agreed with you if you have a special like uh, our special is God mm -hmm. and we do it our to our best. To your best. Yeah. Apart from God. Apart from God, I can also do samaki, fish, since I'm alone. You can say variety is mingi. Variety is mingi. Ah, yeah. amazing. Si tunaza kuko na apo vile unafanya flambe vinyo na geuza geuza moto for our team explorers watching the show for them to have a taste of uh, you know the good food here in Eugenia. Okay, you are welcome. Thank you. Tunengi ajikoni. Special menu mm -hmm. for the day, mm -hmm. and this is the end product of, of the goat meat. Mm -hmm. And, the, and at, it can also be prepared as per your liking choice. Mm -hmm. So, today we chose to prepare it wet fry, it can be grilled, mm -hmm. it can be dry fry, mm -hmm. it can be stir fried. So, it depends on how mm -hmm. you want your liking. it. Yeah, it looks good. So, every every day you have a special menu, every week you have a special menu, or how does it go? Yeah, we, uh, on weekends we do have a special for our guests yeah. who come, and uh, we, we do as, as per their liking choice. So, you, when you come in, it will work as you want. As you want. As you want. Ah, uh, okay. Like in the city, when you have a special uh, menu for the day, no. Oh, yeah. ah, okay. Ah, I see. Amazing. So, unaza ambia watu wa mini mkone yako 100%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kwa yeah. nini umejiamini ya hivo? Jiamini ya kwa sababu na juwa na weza. Aha, juu na weza. Ah, yeah. amazing. Team Explorers, you know we don't go anywhere if we also don't get to explore the food. And here it is. You can see it for yourself. Well, well, Team Explorers, that's what we had for you this Saturday here on the Hotspot Show. My name is Yusta Segete, and remember, you can tune into this show every Saturday, 7.30 p.m. only on K10 Home. Thank you so much for sticking around for today's episode. I'm pretty sure you enjoyed it, so enjoy the rest of your evening. See you the other Saturday.